before we can test a cantana, we really need to make a cantana. Now, for our purposes, we're going to be using a cantana kit. Because after all, we're not testing, can we personally make a good cantana? We're testing the cantana in principle. So we let an expert make the cantana for us. But if you want to make your own, it's really pretty simple. The first thing you're going to need is a large can of juice. Like now, this. technically, you can use any size can, but the juice can really does seem to have become the de facto standard. If you look on any other video on YouTube, you're going to see that everybody is using a pineapple juice can, a soup can, something about this size. So you need to open it up, take the top completely off. If you have one of those side opening can openers, or you can borrow one, that might be a good idea because you really don't want a lot of sharp edges. And once you've got that done, you need to clean out your can. When you're done, it should look something like this. As you can see, uh, it's just an empty can. If it looks something like this, uh, you've messed up. You've opened up both sides. Remember, only open one side. And for the rest of the project, you're going to need to attach this to some sort of wireless card. Now, if you have a card in your laptop that has an antenna, you can rig a cord to hook directly to that. But really, the simplest thing to do is to buy one of these. This is a USB wireless card, and I removed the antenna because we're going to attach our cantana to this port right here. That's really the best idea because on notebooks and laptops and desktops and routers, there's really dozens of types of antenna connectors. So it's really best to go ahead and buy one of these USB cards because they all use the same kind. Once you have emptied your can, uh, you need to connect it with a in chassis connector. This one already has the in chassis connector connected. Uh, that's pretty much a simple step. Uh, you will need to take 1.21 inches of copper wire and solder that to the inside of the connector. As you can see, that's already in there. And the length of that is very important. It has to be exact if you want a good cantana. That's why we're using the kit. Next, you'll need to have a converter. Something like this. This converts from the end connector to an antenna connector. So we just screw that on. And now we're ready to connect our USB connector, which I still have right here. We screw that in, and we're almost ready to go. We're also going to attach a mini tripod so we can stand up our cantana. It also serves as a good handle if you want to go mobile with this thing. Just drill a hole, put the probe through, and attach a nut to the other side. It's really pretty basic, and our cantana is ready to test. So let's get started. One more thing you're going to need is a USB extension cord so that you can connect this to your computer. And that's it.